Hello, this is Nick with Nick's Computer Fix, and here's a video on how to download the internet browser Firefox to your computer within Windows 11. It's free and easy. And by the way, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, it would be greatly appreciated. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. First thing you want to go ahead and do is open up an internet browser. I'm going to go ahead and open up the default internet browser on Windows 11 here. And that would be Microsoft Edge. And once I have it open, I have two places that I can type in the word Firefox. I can either type it in right here on search the web or I can type it in up here. So I'm going to go ahead and type in Firefox. And once I do, I can go ahead and click on Firefox and then it will bring up some potential links that I can click on to download Firefox. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down and uh, Mozilla here, um, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. And uh, this link is good. It works for me and I'm going to go ahead and click on download right here. And once I do, it will automatically in Microsoft Edge download the Firefox installation.exe file to my computer. And if it doesn't, for some strange reason, um, you can scroll down and click on, scroll down a little bit further, you can click on download in another language or for another operating system. Go ahead and click on that and this gives you some choices on the right hand side you can go ahead and click on you know which firefox that you want to download if you want to download firefox ios version you can certainly click here or some betas and so forth all right um i'm gonna just go oh by the way um let me click on that again also for Android, if you're running, um, if you're using a laptop, for instance, that is running Google Chrome, then this would be your option to download Firefox to that uh, Google Chrome laptop. All right, let me go ahead and show you the other options here very quickly. Windows 64 bit is for Windows 11 or Windows 7 or Windows 10 if you're running the 54 uh, the 64 bit version. And if you're not, you can always download the Windows 11 or Windows 10 or Windows 7 32 bit version. And of course, if you're running Mac OS, you can download here or you can click on the, uh, the Linux. Um, version also all right once you chose the version of uh, Microsoft uh, of excuse me of Firefox that you want to download then you can select your language and the default is English and of course there's a multitude of languages that you can download and um, use Firefox with all right once you've got all three of those options the way you like it go ahead and click on download and then as you can see it does download for me and once it's finished i can click on open file but if you're not quick enough and for some reason that disappears within microsoft edge and you don't know how to get to the download um, it's really easy click on these three dots and then scroll down and left click on downloads and you'll see that pop up again and at this point go ahead and click on open file and that will begin the installation of firefox on your computer and by the way if you get a prompt that says do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device or do you want to allow firefox to run its installer make sure you go ahead and click on yes and then once you do, you'll get this prompt. And at this point, you can go ahead and close the 
Microsoft Edge internet browser. It is no longer needs to be open. And we can go through the installation steps here very quickly and click on next. And I always go for the standard installation that works for me. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on next. And then I will click on install and take all defaults, which is good. And the installation takes place very quickly and I can go ahead and launch the Firefox now by clicking on finish it'll launch Firefox and if you unclick this and just click on finish it will not launch Firefox but you can always launch it from your desktop because it makes a desktop icon shortcut on your desktop so that you can launch Firefox and open it up anytime you choose to all right, I'm going to go ahead and click on finish and we are good to go so that you could see clearly the installation steps that take place during the installation of Firefox. And this installation also works very well without any issues on Windows 10 as well as Windows 7. That's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like and leave a like if you like.